Hello everyone, Nathan Salpa here from the Bible Animated. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you quickly how to use the RSS feed we've created for all of our torrents, which can be found at www.thebibleanimated.com feeds slash torrent.xml. Uh, and I'm going to link that in the description on this YouTube video. Basically it's just an RSS feed here that has all of our torrents in it and whenever we put out a new torrent we will throw that into this feed and it'll automatically update stuff for you. So to get started either I would recommend using Deluge Deluge rather which you can download from deluge-torrent.org just clicking the download button here and this is available for Linux, Mac and Windows so regardless of which system you have you can download that or uh, Qubit Torrent which again works on Windows, Mac, and Source. Uh, so you can actually build it for pretty much anything. And it works for Linux too, um, which I believe right there. Haku e-commerce station. I've never even heard of those two. If you got a computer, you can probably run Qubit Torrent on it. All right, so when you launch Qubit Torrent for the first time, it's going to give you a little warning error, which you're not going to see here because I already turned it off. It's just a legal agreement saying... This is a file sharing program. We're not responsible if you get in trouble for anything illegal. Nothing you're doing here is illegal, though, so don't worry about it. So we're going to click View RSS Reader. This thing gives us this new option here. We have an RSS Downloader and RSS Feeds. Um, and we can put rules in here, which we'll get to in a second. So first we're going to add a new subscription, which it already has the URL here because that happened to be in the clipboard. May or may not do that for you. Again, it's just for that RSS feed. It's in the description of the video. Hit OK, and give it a second here to refresh the feed. Maybe a little longer than a second. This is all going to depend on your network connection as to how fast it'll download this. And there we go. We have 13 videos. They are all unread at the moment. Now you could go through and double click to download and do that whenever a new video pops in, but that defeats the point. If we click this RSS button, we can enable an automated RSS downloader. Click that, add rule, new rule. I'm just going to call it ebook. Regular question. It must contain the word ebook and apply it to these feeds. And it says there are these three books that match that, or these three torrents. Um, I kind of did tags inside the brackets. You have video, Lego, and ebook. If you have any more ideas for tags, please let us know and we'll see about adding those. So we set close and it does that and automatically here. It's already pulling up. I don't know why it's pulling in the play, because that's not an ebook. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was a fluke. It should not have happened. Um, but pretty much it just pulled in those ebooks. Now, we can do this for anything. We can add another rule and say we want to do just the Lego videos. Again, use regular expression of Lego, only to these feeds, and it'll pull those up. We can assign labels. You can set up labels in Cubit Torrent. So I could put a label of Lego, and I could save all the Lego videos to a different directory of, say, videos. And I could save my PDFs to books, or save them all to desktop, wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Close. And then it will, in a second here, start pulling in all of those videos. And it will download them for you. Um, you're going to notice, actually I don't have very fast download speeds here. Uh, downloading from torrents, let me just pause all of these. Downloading from torrents is all dependent on other people uploading the torrents. So we always upload, our max upload speed is about 30 kilobytes a second. But the minute somebody else is uploading too, theoretically you could get 60 plus download speed. So it all depends on how many people are out there that are uploading the file, which are considered considered seeders. You downloading it are considered a leecher, though it shows here as seeds that some people have the file available, and peers are people that you're sharing with. So that's how that works. Um, now the other program you can use is Deluger. This one won't actually give you that error when you open it, but out of the box it doesn't have the RSS download capability. You have to use a plugin. So we go Edit Preferences, Plugins and install plugin. Um, let me actually show you where you find that real quick. If you click on the plugins button here, 
Oh, it's not downloading that. Here we go. And then scroll down. It's this YARSS2. Just click that link. Download. I believe it's dependent on your Python version, which if you don't know what it is, don't worry. Um, he tells you here if you're using the Windows, where's the download link? If you're running on Windows, man, where's the download link? There we go. If you're, uh, if you're running Windows, he recommends the 2.6 because they have an older version of Python in Windows. 2.7, it won't work if you do the wrong version. So if you find it not installing at all, like if I had the 2.6 and I hit open, it wouldn't do anything. I have the 2.7 shows up here. Just have to enable that. And then we have this. We add a subscription. Add an RSS feed first. Add the feed. Again, the feed is just the URL of that. So that's the URL. The feed name, we're just going to call it TBA. Update every 120 minutes. That's fine. Subscriptions. Add a subscription. This is a lot like the automated download from Qubit Torrent. We're going to do Lego. We're going to say do it from that feed. Filter include. Well, we want to include the word Lego. And we'll hit fetch, which should pull up anything that matches that. Which, for some reason, is not matching anything. Let me see. I have to re refresh this feed. Descriptions. So one of zero. Let's apply that. It does work. It's just because I used to use this program in the past, and then I found Qubit Torrent, and I was like, you know, I like this a lot more. Let me actually take out the filter. It will work. I don't know why it's not right now. Probably something silly about it's not finding that RSS feed. RSS, we have that, that's right. Edit feed, that's right. Update interval, blah blah blah. Settings. You can have it send you an email when you download something. So you could put this in Qubit Torrent, I believe gives you the option as well. Where you can have it send you emails when stuff happens. Um, I think it's actually under downloads. You can email notification. So you pretty much can say this is who I want to email to, and it's a little more complicated than I want to get into right now because I've never set it up myself, so I don't really know how it works. But yeah, you can do that. And again, like I said, this will work. I just, for whatever reason, it's not right now. But it does work. Like I said, I prefer Cubit Torrent. I find it, it looks nicer in a side by side comparison, which I just realized I won't be able to do because I'm running dual monitors right now. Ooh. But it does work. They'll both do the same thing. So that's how you set up your RSS. Um, and then pretty much whenever we add a new item to this and it matches your rules in either one of the two programs, it'll automatically start downloading for you. And some things, I mean, they're small. Like some of our PDFs, five megabytes. Some things are big, like this. Let me scroll over so we get the name of the answer. That's the play, which is a Lego video, 238 megabytes. So that might take several hours to download, depending on how many people are all downloading and uploading. So in a nutshell, that's how you set it up. Um, it really helps us out a lot if you seed the downloads as long as you can, which pretty much, once you download it, it'll change from downloading and say seeding. And then it will tell you, actually, if I click peers here, right now, actually, there are four people out there that are trying to download this file and they'll have progress of nothing. So if this would ever make a connection with those, which there's a host of reasons why things might not make connections. It's not necessarily anything wrong on your end. Um, as you saw there, none of those made connections. Um, then it will upload to them. So instead of everybody downloading it from our computers here at the Bible Animated, you can help us out by uploading to other people's computers and as more and more people are seeding it, like right now there's two people, which is this computer and then my other computer, which are both on the same network, so that really doesn't count as two. Um, as more and more people are seeding, that'll increase everybody else's download speeds. So if there was 40 people seeding something, you might see download speeds of maybe 100 
kilobytes a second. Whereas if we're the only ones uploading, you're going to be around 30 taps because we're running on DSL. Yeah, I know. It's cheap. So there you go. Have fun. Any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment. We will get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, enjoy.